All right, guys. So it's kind of a little on center. We went out of town this weekend. We decided to uh, hit up a car shop in my near my sister's house, and uh, I ended up playing Arrow Brilliant Plants and got first place with it. Garbage. So yeah. Uh, the matchups. Some guy was playing Blue Eyes, which too too old body, too easy. Um, then it was an anti-meta deck like stuns, so like banish the radiance and stuff. Uh, I got I won the dice roll, went first, got the first game because I just set up an, like a stupid board because this deck can put out Beast and Barkeon in the same turn, and against anti-meta that you just win. Uh, game two, he went first, and I didn't see like I didn't really draw that good. My side isn't really tailored for like stun decks; it's tailored for more of like uh, meta. Um, Mystic Mine in game three, uh, I got that 2-0. Again, I went first, saw my package, opened up with um, Nat Beast. Game two, I sided in, uh, you know, all my my back row hate, like my Twin Twisters, my Cyclones, uh, Imperial Order, all that kind of stuff. I uh, got that 2-0. Sky Strikers is a super easy matchup for this deck. Uh, again, I won, I won the dice roll. <laughs> Went first game one. Got Nat Beast out. They can't they can't play around Nat Beast. It's over. They can try to over, but yeah. Uh, game two, he went uh, he went first. He did see a um, what is it? Widow Anchor. He saw the one Widow Anchor and uh, interrupted the play, which kind of hurt. But I got him game three because you know we side. Um, top four, I played against him. Uh, he was playing Trap Tricks this week. Any my Trap Tricks deck that was updated. Um, again, the deck this deck can put out Barky on first turn, so it wasn't too hard. Sorry, Mark. Fuck you. Uh, and then my, the final match was against Thunder Dragons, which pretty tough, but I got it two one. Uh, fell a little bit. I got it. I got it two one. Uh, game one, I went first. I forgot how I got around it actually. <laughs> But I know um, there's a thing with uh, Titan missing timing because everyone goes into Titan now. So if anything activates in response to a hand trap, it just misses timing. So because of the Blessed Wind and the Human Wizard, our click effects at all times, you can just pay life points or gain and then uh, it misses timing. So, and I think game three, I had I had a Predator Plant Orphus Scorpio. He, he like Baylor'd it or impermed it. So I was like, shit. Set Super Poly pass. He made tight. Uh, I think he made uh, Titan on board. So I Super Poly the Titan and my Predator Plant because it was a dark. And I made uh, the Draco Stapelia, and I think that's how you say it. So anyway, let's just get into the deck profile. I know you guys are probably anxious, so. Let's start with a uh, heavy monster package. Um, we don't play a lot of Arrow Mage, only because they're not that great. So one Jasmine, one of the new Marjoram, one Laurel, and two Angelica. That's my only Arrow Mage package. So the idea, the idea with her is that she's generally a card you side out going second or whatever because she's with whatever. But the idea with her is if you play Brilliant Fusion, you get the extra normal summon. You can summon her, and then since your life points are higher, you can summon again. So because of the uh, Brilliant package, you can get three normal summons in one turn with her. She's really good on summon Banish. And she, she can summon when the plant's destroyed. Uh, gain life points, and this is a hand trap to gain life points. So, And she summons back. So generally off her Brilliant Fusion, sometimes you can send this if you need to. Uh, here comes a small plant package. Uh, Spore, Glow Bulb. This is generally who you go into with the Brilliant Fusion. Uh, and here's all your starter cards. If you see like any of these, you generally got full combo, which is three Lone Fire Blossom, three Predator Preda Plant, and the two Cobra, and of course the two Bricks. Uh, I play two of every. I play two of both because if you brick and just open up with one, the entire thing is dead, and you really, really need Brilliant Fusion to go off. Uh, to go full combo, so that's the plant engine. Uh, here's a, and here's all the extra side stuff. So I play a danger package, the standard. So the idea with this is that um, if you can get with Jasmine the link to, you attribute anything she points to to summon a plant from the deck, and that's how you get glow bulb out. So these are free summons to where she points to, and if you can get Nessie out with a glow bulb, you can make Savage Dragon and make a uh, level eight synchro. So that's why we play this small danger package. And then for the Brilliant Fusion package, Damage Juggler and Hat Trigger. I originally wasn't playing this if you've watched it on my channel before on the replay videos because I didn't I didn't really get it, but now I do. With Brilliant Fusion, you send um, you send him with Garnet, 
and then you banish him to add the hat trigger. And since you have two monsters on board, you get a free special summon, and then you tribute with a Jasmine with something else, go into Global Pulp and make Nappies. <clears throat> and then uh, after you make Nappies, you mill to bring back the Nappies to sync with, I mean, uh, to bring back the Global Pulp, to sync Global Pulp with um, uh, the, the Brilliant Fusion dude. Forgot his name for one second. Seraphonite. Seraphonite, yeah. And then you can make Barky on. So that's how you make Beast and Barky on one turn is with this package. And then lastly, the only hand traps besides Impermanence that I play were three spooky dogwood. <laughs> what are the alt arts, dog? I don't, I don't have those. Wow. <laughs> um, this is kind of like a crappier maxi in, in a sense. Uh, because it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't play kind of thing. Where if I drop this and you're like a super combo heavy, you can keep playing, but you're going to give me a ton of life points, which you don't want to do in Aramage. You don't want to give them life points because everything goes off of me having more life points. This saved me a lot against uh, a couple decks. Um, Thunder Dragon being one yeah, of them. Thunder Dragon, one of them. So that, that's amazing. That's all for the monsters. Really heavy monster lineup. Um, the one of Brilliant Fusion. Um, the one of Aroma Gardening. I've seen a lot of people who play Aromage like, uh, uh, don't play this, but it's really good. Uh, if you summon a, an, uh, an Aromage, you gain a thousand life points, which is really nice, especially a turn one. And if your life points are less than your, your opponents, you can summon from the deck, and then you can, if you summon an Aramage, you gain a thousand life points as well. So let's say they attack you and you bring out. Oh, dog with on the bottom. Where'd it go? You could bring out Jasmine, gain life points, and draw a card on top of that. So you could protect yourself with the 1900 defense, draw a card, and be a thousand life points ahead. So pretty nice. Uh, combo deck, so three call by because hand traps really hurt the deck. All right, now here is a. <clears throat> I was originally playing three of, but I cut it down to one, Frozen Rose. Uh, this idea is with. The danger package, you could tribute a danger to add any plant that you need to your hand. So if you open up with this and a danger, you can also, it's a, it's a help search your extenders, like to get global, uh, the Lone Fire or Predator Plant. And then I cut, I did, I cut the other two for Poison of the Old Man. In testing, the, nine times out of ten, I would rather have had the Poison over the Frozen Rose um, because the gaining life points is amazing and it puts you ahead and you you can get your air mage effects first turn. That's it for spells. No, it doesn't affect your dark vision. So um, I, I did do a, a dodge one time um, with this. I played Scorpio. He tried to imper I think it was impermanence or Valor. It was a Valor. It was anchor. And, and then I uh, or and then Frozen Rose tribute the monster since it's not on the field. The effect would go through. So I was able to get my search off. And then for the traps. Uh, the new one, Blessed Winds, really, really good. Um, being able to search this is, is stupid. Uh, shuffling one back to gain five is another quick effect, so that's how you get around the Thunder Dragon Titan. Same thing with this one. Pay a thousand to search or gain five if you're less, which is generally good going first. And then lastly are the two impermanences. Um, I had the other one I let my friend borrow for today. He was playing a tournament on Sunday, so... <clears throat> That's it for the main. It should be 40 cards. Um, extra deck. Here comes the... Uh, I guess I'll just do the... I'll do the Arrow Mage first. Um, Rosemary. And Sweet Marjoram. Um... In the off chance that something happens to Nat Beast and you can make a level 5, she's actually pretty good. Uh, if you gain life points, through, uh, you can quick effect target something and its effects are negated, so that's pretty. that comes up. And she's really good. If I know what I'm playing against, generally game 2, I don't make her going first. I'll make um, Barky on instead because I know people put him evenly matched. And if getting hit by evenly really, really sucks. So... Uh, here's your other packages. There are Nat Beast and Nat Barkeon. If you open up with, a, with a Lone Fire or Pride of Plants go for it, you get both of these in one turn. It's stupid. So, like I said, though, going generally going second or you know game two, if I know they have evenly, I will put Bark. I'll make Barkeon instead of her and just say you know I'll forget about the search because I'd rather have a spell and trap negate. And that way, the only thing they have to do is try to get around me by monsters or by battle and Jasmine protects. And then the last synchro is Savage Dragon. Um, you can make him with um, Nessie. With Nessie, yeah, or um, or spore, spore yeah, spore banish. It level nice. manipulates, yeah, so it's level always good. Uh, the one Seraphonite, rip. 
Um, here we go. The most busted plant link that ever came out. I know you hate this one. Uh, and so stupid. This card is really, really good. If your life points are higher, she can't die by battle, or whatever she points to can't die by battle. And you can tribute anything. She points you to summon a plant from the deck, which is how you get your combo off. And if you gain life points, you add a plant to your hand from deck to your hand, which can be anything. So during your opponent's turn, you can search her if you wanted to. Or you can even search... Um, sometimes I search this and um, Angelica, because I can pitch it and gain life points. And that puts me ahead. Uh, other links. Uh, one Phoenix came up a couple times, not too much. This is generic link because sometimes you need a generic link for if you play Super Poly, because I do play Super Poly on the side. So sometimes the fusion that you Super Polyed with going second uh, will block up your zone, so you need to open up your zones. Uh, Boral Load and Boral Sword. Both of them came up today, actually, or on Saturday. So yeah, both of them came up Saturday, so I wouldn't change it. And then fusions. I thought I was going to see Salamagrates, and I didn't see any, so that was unfortunate. And one Starving Venom, and one of the best best fusion cards made for Super Poly targets. This single-handedly stops like Thunder Dragons. This cups them, actually. Uh, if they if they overextend and they make like the full board with like two Colossus and a Titan, you can take the Titan and the Colossus because it says one fusion and one dark. So this is how you, you literally clear out their whole you can clear out their whole, almost their whole board with this. And then, uh, so yeah. And sometimes they're generally game two and three. If you're playing Thunder Dragons, they get like kind of scared and they won't overextend because they'll think you have like Nibiru, which I do play. So onto the side, uh, Nibiru combo decks. This hurts. Three super polys, literally like game winning. Um, spell and trap removal, twin twisters, two cyclone. Uh, you have a lot of life points. Generally, you have like a lot, so cyclone doesn't hurt. Twin twisters sometimes you get the danger out of your hand. Um, red reboot because I didn't want to get hit by trap decks, including trap tricks. Yeah. So, uh, Mystic Mind. I, I, oh, I, I cited this in. That's right. Okay. I cited this in against Anti Meta. And I drew for turn. I played a trap. He played Red. Or was it me? You played Blessed Wins. Yeah. Judgment. You read reboot. He read reboot. And then, I, yeah. And then I drew for turn a second Red Reboot. So I paid half my life points. And I stopped the Red Reboot. It was like a chain six, but it was, it was hilarious. Um, and then. Go after you went first and made your full combo. Your spells just don't even you don't even need them. So Imperial Order and Soul Drain. This single hand. Okay, this is how I won game two against Thunder Dragons. That's right. I popped up Soul Drain and he couldn't make any plays because he only played. He didn't play any other normal summon besides Battery Man. So yeah, Soul Drain is probably one of the best cards out right now for siding. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this deck. I think this, the new support helped push plants into like a little different, a different tier. They can actually compete with meta. Like, this deck is stupid, <laughs> stupid good. So um, I'll keep you updated if there's anything.